Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Still sick as a dog. Day three of antibiotics and sweating like a whore in church. But I really wanted to do this review. This is going to be quick. Uh, I've got some footage from the Oregon Bushcraft winter winter camp where I'll, I'll be showing it in use and stuff. But just wanted to give you guys a close up of the actual product and what it comes with and, and what you can expect. So uh, the brand is Best Light. This one I thought the price point was the best around $23. Uh, this is in my Amazon store so I invite you if you wanted to uh, purchase one after this review click the link uh, below and purchase it through the Amazon store. It'll help me out and I would uh, greatly appreciate it. So first the light itself has 160 LEDs and it runs off of six uh, AA batteries. It will also take a couple different Sony camcorder batteries. Um, might be you know easier for you to to use if you already have a camcorder that takes uh, those style of batteries. For me, the AA's is easiest just because I'm already carrying AA batteries. I use this for about a half hour. 45 minutes at winter camp. It is an, an insanely bright light. So uh, when we were all sitting around the campfire and stuff having it on it, it was just blinding people. So I didn't really use it that much. So it does have a battery indicator on the back Four LEDs lit up. It's still, you know, is showing a full charge and then it's got a, uh, a dimmer switch. So you turn it on the first click and I the footage of uh, me shining it in Sean Squatch PNW's face which you'll see here in a minute was it on low setting and then you can slowly crank up the light to get it to full intensity which is just absolutely ridiculous it does put out it does put out a lot of light I don't know the lumen count but it's it's bright enough as you'll see in the in the following footage so in the box it comes with a little uh, a uh, ball head mount, uh, but I would warn uh, that the hot shoe mount on the bottom is plastic, not metal. Uh, so I opted not to not to use that. I mean, this is fine, but just know that this is some sort of plastic on the bottom. So I mean, a good whack, and this could potentially could potentially break off. It does have venting all around, and then it has this slot at the top here. And what that slot is for is for the included gels. So you've got a white, a white diffusion filter, so you can just slap that in there. So it comes with the diffuser, and then it also comes with a, a warm filter. And you would use this if you're inside uh, with a lot of uh, incandescent lights, which have more of a yellow hue to them, so that the light you're projecting matches the light, the light in the room. Okay, so with the batteries installed, uh, it weighs in at 12 and a half ounces. So it's not light, it's not heavy, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a good balance. If you're going to be doing some filming at night, it definitely outperforms the standard, you know, light from your headlamp. It's going to give you a more dispersed pattern uh, instead of a spot. And then without the, uh, without the batteries, it weighs in just seven and a half ounces. So almost half the weight is just coming from the batteries. This light is not without its problems. And it does have a small one. It's not a big deal. But the batteries, if you can see, fit into little grooves on the side here. So you kind of have to be very careful when you put the batteries in and you'll see that there are gaps between the between the batteries so here's an example where the batteries uh, aren't making contact you'll notice the lights aren't lighting up and so right here this battery is just kicked off to the side a little bit so if we just pull it back where it's supposed to go actually you kinda heard it click click into spot there now you'll see we have a uh, our batteries are connected and working so that's one uh, area that um, you know I would have to complain about I haven't had a problem with it with them losing connection once they're seated so if you happen to buy one you put your batteries in and it doesn't work you know just give the batteries a roll and make sure that they're seated in the little grooves the little grooves along the top and along the bottom that uh, that the batteries are designed to fit into so it is possible for them to be 
offset a little bit. Anyways, I think this is a fantastic light for the money. Uh, I don't believe there's really anything cheaper out there in the 160 LED realm. Uh, this kind of seemed to be the perfect blend of runtime and lights. Uh, I didn't want to go too big, but I didn't want to go too small and then not have uh, enough available light. So I apologize for kind of, you know, my, my stuttering and stuff. It's just, I'm sick. I'm on Sudafed, antibiotics. It's uh, it's not been a fun week, but uh, I uh, was really excited about this light and uh, you know wanted to show it off. So stay tuned for more footage uh, where I show it in use. And uh, again, this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Thanks for watching. Boil, 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 boil. The wife just texted me. Boil, boil. I'm gonna turn this ridiculous LED light on. I wonder if you can see it. What we could do, I don't know how that would work. <clears throat> See it up there? 160 LEDs. Blinding. Blinding light. Last night, uh, we were all sitting around the campfire and I turned that thing on and it literally lit everyone up like it was daylight. We had just a kind of a lever right here that hooked onto the cable. You could raise and lower the... It's a $22 Amazon purchase. Well, $22 and change. And it takes eight AA batteries. Uh, I've probably only used it for about a half hour. It does have a little battery indicator on the back. And it still shows full power. So, I'm using the Am uh, Radio Shack alkaline batteries. The uh, orange and white. Uh, and I've had really, really good luck with those. And they're probably made in China, like everything else, but it's fine, whatever. They work awesome. Uh, like 180 or something. Let's see this, how this looks on low. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad, actually. You can't really... You can't really see much. Yeah, I know a guy who has one. Yeah, no, it's brand new. Yeah, yeah, just the glare on the top. I didn't take into account that it would be hitting. Oh, yeah. He's hitting you can throw like a piece of tape over that. Yeah. I like pull the trigger. And... Yeah, you can see the trees pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I bet if you just put a piece of tape over the top of that, you'd be good to go. Yeah, they're pretty light. I look really hard at getting them. Yeah. It diffuses so well. I mean, it's just yeah. It's not like a beam. Yeah, exactly. And it's still got four bars as much as I've used it. Exactly. LED man, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I felt like I. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I. All right, you got enough video? Cause I gotta get back by the fire. It's getting cold.